do a little bit of a commentary video for Beast Boy in therapy with Black Canary and I'm going to show a clip. I think it's important for this development of this character to show this clip. I'm going to try to show it with as few interruptions as possible. But, you know, Facebook doesn't really, not Facebook, but YouTube doesn't really let me do that much. So I'm going to have to break in at least some to make some comment. I prefer to do the comments before and after the clip, but I can only go so far before they they hit me. So I'll do what I can, uh, even though this is within their rules, which they claim you can do these kind of videos but then they demonetize you and then uh, claim that you're violating their copyright rules which seem to be arbitrary at this point but anyway I am going to go ahead and play this clip and uh, let's uh, switch it over to full screen there you are take me through it Tommy how he killed Connor. I knew he was weakened. Low oxygen, solar cells not charged, and I left him there alone to deal with the bomb. But it was the kryptonite that killed him. Did you know about that? No, but if I make him leave, he never gets hit with the kryptonite. But if he's not there, what happens to all the Martians? Nothing if I disarm the bomb first. Did you know how to do that? Could you have taken it into the lava to destroy the virus? And again, she let Connor stay with the bomb. And this looks like a case of survivor's guilt, which seems how they're playing this up. He has severe guilt about Connor dying and apparently some other teammates dying. And he blames himself. And they go into a little more detail of it here soon in a second. But yeah, it, that seems to be the way they're going with the source of this depression. I'm not a psychologist. I do have an associate's degree in psychology, so I know a little bit. I remember some of this from college, but it does appear that this seems to be the direction they're going with the survivor guilt. And uh, let's play uh, the next part of the clip. Two. Is she to blame for his death? What? No! She loved Connor! And you didn't? Connor's not the first loved one you've lost. Last year, you and I talked about losing Brian. Brian's not dead. No, but we've lost her. Do you feel responsible for that, too? I was his squad leader. I should have seen the signs. You mentioned Wally earlier. Are you to blame for his death, too? I could have gone with Miss Martian to the North Pole. And Rita? I should have been with her on that last Doom Patrol mission. And your mother? I should have stopped Queen B. Gar, you were eight years old. The combined mind of the team in the Justice League still hasn't stopped Queen B. How is an eight-year-old child supposed to do that? I, I, I could have done something. What? What could you have done differently to save any of them? I don't know. I just needed to be better. They needed me to be better. Don't you see? Even when we do everything right, bad things still sometimes happen. There are some things we have the power to control, but the hardest thing to admit, especially for people in our line of work, is that sometimes... Where? Yes. But I don't want to be. I should have. They should have. I should have stopped it all somehow. How? I don't know. I don't know. I need help. Admitting that. It's a start, Gar. And that was an extremely powerful scene, I believe. And it tells a lot about Beast Boy and his certain development. And uh, I'm glad they're going with this instead of the other route they could have went, which was uh, Beast Boy. He was heading down the road for to be suicidal to some extent. I mean, it was all the signs were there, and they were putting that there. And I'm glad they decided to go this way instead of the other. And hopefully this will turn out well. There's only two more episodes left, so we'll get to see how this plays out when he finds out about Connor being alive. Uh, I am going to put some clips up of what's happening with the other characters as well in the series. Uh, I am putting clips on my Patreon that will not be on YouTube or Twitch. 
uh, some exclusive clips over there uh, because of, well, basically how these other companies are doing things. I don't have a choice. Uh, if you want to subscribe over there, that'd be great. Uh, I put out a thing for uh, shout outs if you want uh, to do that. That'd be a dollar a month. I'll mutilate your username as much as you want me to. It'll be fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I appreciate any help anybody can give. That would be great. Uh, if you like my content, that's that would help. If you don't, uh, well, if you don't want to give or you can't give, I, I understand. Everybody's, if you can, uh, that's fine as well. I'm going to try to put up as much as I can over there as well and try to balance this out and still put stuff over here. Uh, I will put the more, well, the comment, the videos I'll have there will have less comments because it's not required as much as there as it is here. So just check out my Patreon. I will put a link in this uh, video. So if you want to check it out, that'd be great. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and now Patreon. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.